These are paper wasps, and they live in family groups of no more than 80 individuals. The small size of the group makes them easy to observe and shows that the queen is constantly under threat from her daughters. The queen's role is to lay eggs and keep her unruly daughters in line. The daughters tend the young, their newly born sisters. They clean them and water them. They even chop up their food for them. And feed it to them piece by piece. And the queen constantly bullies her daughters to make sure they do their job. But in this small family, the role of queen is not fixed. And deciding who is queen is settled by aggression. These tests of strength have a purpose. The strongest will become the queen. To avoid unnecessary fights, the wasps have evolved the ability to recognize each other by smell. Some have even learned to recognize faces, much like humans. This enables them to constantly keep track of who has beaten whom, maintaining this uneasy truce. But the system only works because the family is so small. Just a few more wasps and the queen would no longer be able to fight them all. In the forests of East Africa, one insect has taken its camouflage to a bizarre and somewhat gruesome extreme. This is an assassin bug. To us, it's easy enough to spot because it moves to its prey. That's irrelevant because it smells like one of their number. The assassin sucks its victims dry and glues their empty husks onto its back. This one is already carrying at least 20 corpses. Its irregular shape makes it hard for other predators to spot it and makes it virtually invisible to its prey, ants. It enters this ant colony unchallenged. Its coat of ant corpses masks its own odor. To the ants, it smells like one of their own, and that's what matters. They'll even run straight over the top of it. The assassin simply takes an ant whenever it feels hungry. And the body of each victim then adds to its disguise. The struggle for survival amongst arthropods is often brutal, but that's a key to their success the strongest survive to produce the next generation. 
The birth of offspring is not always an end to parental responsibilities. Whilst most arthropods leave their young to fend for themselves, a small minority look after them. They become families. And in the tropical forests of Australia lives one of the most surprising. This is the giant burrowing cockroach. It's one of the largest cockroaches in the world. If you were to hold it, it would fill the palm of your hand. Despite its appearance, it isn't a pest. In fact, it's one of the most useful insects in the forest. Australians call it the litter bug because it cleans up the forest floor, eating leaves and detritus. This one is a female. She's pregnant and she's digging a tunnel in order to create a safe place where she can produce her young. Her tunnel is a meter deep, the equivalent of you or me digging down more than 20 meters. And here she gives birth. One such lives on a hedgehog. Ixodes is a tick, a parasite. The female is so well adapted to life on a hedgehog that she rarely lives anywhere else. She has a limitless supply of food immediately beside her, blood. She stays on the hedgehog until she's ready to lay her eggs. Then she lets go, falls to the ground, and starts to deposit her eggs in the undergrowth. The eggs make up 50% of her entire body weight. She can lay around 1,500 of them, and it takes her up to 20 days to lay them all. Producing so many is her way of ensuring that at least one or two of her young will find their own hedgehog host. For those that do, the cycle can begin again. By the time Ixodes has produced them all, her once plump body is deflated and she dies. 